I believe every single one of us has genius within us. I believe every single one of us has this brilliance longing to see the light of the day. I believe every single person on the planet has a mighty mission and is available to a, for a magnificent obsession in their own original way. Now, is there an exact formula for this? Well, not exactly, but there are certain principles and disciplines and actions that anybody can do. And when they're combined in the right order, they add up to a success system that never fails. You can use these principles and disciplines to jumpstart your success and help you attract more of what you want in your life. Every day in your life, you gotta weed the negative and you gotta fertilize the positive. I think a winner is somebody who gets up every single day and fights the fight against doubt, fights the fight against fear, fights the fight against laziness and procrastination, and forces themselves to do the work so that they can become a better person, so that they can see their dreams come true, and so that they can astonish themselves. If you're waking up every day and you're not taking steps to be the CEO of your own life and managing your day and running your own life, it's you're going to be an employee. It's going to run you back, and it will. And there's days I've woken up and gone through the motions, and sure, as death and taxes, something comes up, and because I wasn't in the right mindset, it took control. It ran my day. Live your best life. Attack the world, enjoy the journey. Starting now, from the day forward, be changed and charging. Go out and make it happen. Every day, get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future, seize your destiny, and live the life you deserve. You win at life when you do the work that makes you feel uncomfortable. We look at winners all the time. We celebrate our greatest heroes in business and in sports because of their outcomes. But the fact is, nobody stops and thinks about the fact that those champions, those winners, spent 10, 20, 30 years getting up day in and day out and doing the work. So a winner is somebody that wakes up every morning, pushes themselves out that bed, and does the work to become a better person. You gotta get up early. You gotta make a list. You gotta show up with a great attitude, and you gotta get it done. Getting up in the morning and setting your priorities is very important. If you don't fill your day with high priority things that mean everything to you, that inspire you, your life will fill up with low priority distractions that don't. You gotta give yourself permission to be the most magnificent you you can possibly be. I wonder what would happen if you sat down and actually prioritized your life every day, and then went after the most important things and filled your day that way. And every day if you wake up and you don't take control of your day and you don't dominate the day as best you can start to finish, life is gonna own you. You know, if you're waking up with a negative attitude, you have to be able to step back and self-assess, why am I in a bad mood? And you have to work from that minute forward to build that tool in your belt, if you will, to be able to assess it, address it, apply it, if you will, and then move forward. If you can do that, life gets exponentially easier and easier and easier every day. And before you know it, you're working with greater efficiency, more confidence, more determination, and you set yourself on a path to truly self-generate success. But more importantly, you're happy. I have a simple exercise I give everybody, and some people say, oh, that's so stupid, it's so silly. But I ask them to look in the mirror, especially first thing in the morning, and just look in their eyes and say their name, and say, I love you, I really, really love you. And this is enormously hard for most people to do to begin with, but as you continue to do it, it makes a big difference. You see, life loves you, life really loves you, but if you don't love yourself, it's very hard for life to bring you the goodies because you've got this wall up. What I do every day, the fact that it makes me mentally stronger, um, the fact that I, I literally push myself to the point of, you know, being physically ill, 
when you do that, when you're, when you're starting your day at 4.30 in the morning, whatever, do that, the rest of your day, no matter what happens, is a breeze. You've, t- you've tackled the hardest part of your day. No matter what goes on, you have the confidence and, and you have the, the wherewithal, the tool belt, if you will, to be able to attack. Sometimes it's just showing up and being able to push yourself a little bit more than yesterday. If you're not happy today, start acting happy. Act the way you want to feel, and soon you'll feel the way you act. Go out and make it happen in your life. Why not do what you really love every day? I don't mean necessarily the things that are small little things. I'm talking about giving yourself permission to make the difference that you want in life and do the things that are service to others as well as rewarding to you. So we, we live in a world that we want to be as comfortable as we can. And we wonder why we have no growth. We, we wonder why when the smallest thing in our life gets difficult, we wonder why we cower and we run away. Because we are kind of living our, our I mean, our whole life is set up that way. Our whole life is a set, set up in, in the path of least resistance. We don't want to suffer. We don't want to feel discomfort. So the whole time we're living our lives in a very comfortable area. There's no growth in that. If you find something that you love to do, then when Monday comes along, you're not going, ah, Monday. You're like, Monday, I get to act. I want you to burn into your nervous system the following statement because it is a fundamental truth of the human condition. It is literally the baseline physics of what it means to be a person. As Earl Nightingale said, we become what we think about. And that's an idea that I want you to hold firmly in your mind. That's something that I really want you to internalize. I really want you to stop right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stop, lean into this video and listen to what I'm saying. You will become what you think about. Really think about that for a second as if it wasn't just a phrase, as if it's more than just words, as if it were a truth about how the brain works because it is. You're going to become the thing that you think about. And I know that you're dwelling on a lot of negative shit. I know that you're carrying a lot of baggage with you. And I know that as you think about how things might go wrong, that you believe, you believe to the core of your being that you're just planning for the hard times. But the truth is you're going to become those things that you fear. You're going to become the things that you dread. If you're thinking about all the things that you've done wrong in the past, you are going to simply continue that cycle. But if on the other hand, and let this be true, let this ring in your ears with the weight of everything that I carry. If I've ever added an ounce of value to you, if anything I have ever said has seemed remotely true, believe that these are the most important words I'm ever going to say to you. If you begin to focus on positive things, if you begin to focus on your capabilities, if you begin to focus on the potential that you have, if you really dig in, build those skills, drive towards something beautiful, something amazing, something that leaves you in awe that you want to create, that you want to become the vessel for that, then you will. You will become that thing because you will take those steps because you become what you think about. And as Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do. So if you don't take those steps, if you don't focus on those things, if you don't manifest what you want to become, if you don't believe in it, if you don't see how real it could be, if you can't picture the version of yourself that you want to become, and even though people have told you that it's not possible for you, that the things you did in the past are never going to allow you to do that, that you're not smart enough, If you let that creep into your mind, then that's what's going to happen. But if you can see that vision, if you can allow yourself to believe it, then you're going to take the steps that you need to execute against that. And if you go out there and do those things, you won't regret it, but you will regret it if you don't. So get out right now and build the person you want to be so you can have the life you want to have.
A lot of people always asking themselves, what can I do to be happy? Do everything you can to set up habits and take care of your mind in such a way that you generate more happiness. No matter who you are, what walk of life you're in, number one, you have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. Happy, beautiful people. You've heard it, right? You're, we're to be vibrant people. We're to be happy people. We're to be joyous people. But that doesn't happen by itself. What we have to do is we have to try. And the reason we have to try is because life gets in the way.